Well, England against Wales. A pot that needs no further ingredient, Davis. Jettison from the 23 altogether. Touch not found. Freddie Stewart, a chance to run early. He's gone through two or three tackles. Well, eventually he lost his feet without anybody touching him, but look at the field position he's created here for England. Henry Slade. Well, there's Sam Underhill being missed out. The attempt at the kick pass from George Ford. It's really testing. And Rio Dyer did well. That was try saving star side there. How does Arsaretti go? Referee says play, and here's Mitchell. Mitchell to Slade, and Slade loses it forward. Here's Johan Lloyd, just for a moment he paused. On to Rio Dyer. Dyer looking to counter attack here. Use it, nine! Here's Aserati. Almost looks surprised to receive that. Okay. So the player is upright. Five. He, can, he can be lower into that tackle. It's, it's, it's head contact and it reaches yellow card threshold. John. The catch from Wainwright. Here's the drive. It's heading towards that England try line. It's a penalty advantage. And James Dorman has gone straight between the posts. It is a penalty try. Wales lead by seven points to nil. PP just confirmed it was four or six will explain this. Okay, the, 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 the ball is going at a rate of knots towards the goal line, and then six. six. It's going to be a second yellow card as well. Shades of August, remember that. Coach! Bye. So the young Northampton Saint earning his fifth gap for England. Six plays an unfamiliar role the pick up from Ben Earl Earl will try to go himself look at the power and the outstretched arm and Ben Earl with just 13 men on the pitch has got a try for England that is remarkable but frankly Wales only have themselves to blame individual brilliance there from Ben Earl after a difficult year last year, he's had his injuries, he's come back fitter and stronger than ever. England camp all week were talking about how much they want to entertain this crowd. They want the fans on their feet celebrating, but for the first 15 minutes, that was looking a little shaky. But to be two men down and to come away with a try like that, that shows real heart, that shows real character. 12 men on the pitch. Then it was Maru Atoji who scored a try, which brought England back into it. They eventually won the match somehow. Well, he's moved to the side. George Ford moved. Well, it's all happening at Twickenham. Remember Cheslin Colby at the World still, Cup. So you're still, and then you've moved to the side. Rio Dar and his mates are doing the same still, now. And then you've moved to the side, which begins your approach to the ball. Lloyd, Beard, win it. There's Tompkins. Nice. Rafael with a step. That England blitz defence putting pressure on the Welsh, but it does leave the opportunity for gaps. We saw Italy exploit that last week. Rafael with the offload, and now it's a two-on-one. And Alex Mann, for the second straight week, gets a try. What a first half it's been for Wales. What a start to an international career it's been for that young man. Sometimes defenders can get lazy on the inside. Came from Tommy Revel, cutting that short line, giving a good quick platform. And look at the options there around the ball carrier. The sacrificial lamb takes the first hit, but there's options left and right. And Alex Mann, what an introduction he's having to the Six Nations. Brilliant offloading play. Thomas Williams on the shoulder, and then Alex Mann with the support play. England with just three wins in the last ten test matches. There's Fraser Dingwall. Dingwall earning his second cap here. Mitchell, now there's a string of white jerseys. 
Good tackle there from Thomas Williams, getting a bit of help from Aaron Wainwright. Earl on to Ford. There goes Will Stewart. Stewart, who scored two tries here 15 months ago against the All Blacks. Dingwall releases Daly. Daly for the corner. Well, Elliot Daly had such momentum, he could have got over. Lovely long pass. Look at this now. Really good chase back. And Josh Adams there, corner flagging with Cam Winnett just keeping him out of uh, bounds. If you're in front of the kicker, a player on your own team, you are offside, you have to be behind the ball. Yoan Lloyd, that kick pass again, it's meant for Dyer, it's perfect. Dyer with a kick ahead, can win it's after it. Well, it almost came off. Yoan Lloyd, oh, and he's through his win it, and win has got alongside him, Josh Adams, Adams. Inside ball, well it didn't go to hand, but once again, Wales, Atoji this time. England just creating that bridgehead in the shadow of the post. Another powerful drive, Earl this time, they're getting closer and closer. Alex Mitchell getting shoved out of the way. Ellis Genge wants to have a go now. He's got George alongside him. He goes the other way, does Genge. Desperate to get to the foot of the post. It's still England. A pause ahead of another surge. Ball's lifted. A crucial time in the match, surely this. There's Ford. Ford out to Daly. Daly to Dingwall. And England have their try. Carry after carry. Alice Genge there. One of the strongest players on the field. Could not get past that Welsh defence. But then the calm composure of George Ford to see the space out wide. Brilliant hands. Elliot Daly. Take about now here the catch here. Look at that catch. Fingertip stuff. Still gets that ball away. And the dive for the line. Danny Kerr. Ford. Oh, oh, and it's gone loose. Well, Mason Grady tried to pick it up, but it's a penalty to England. So it's a penalty and yellow well, Jamie card. Jamie George was even angling at yeah. a possible penalty try, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And the reason that it's not is because, as the referee explained, there were other Welsh models that would have been able to come round and cover a potential try. George Ford to take England in front. must now come back and they will play with just 14 men for the rest of the match Lloyd chip over the top it's too long it's taken by Stewart and Stewart kicks ahead tries to gather his own ball Wainwright comes across desperate from Wales they regain possession but they find themselves Results. deep inside their own 22. They go short to Coles. It's there with Theo Dan. Danny Kerr will chip it into touch. The referee blows his whistle for the end of the match. And England have got themselves out of a very tight spot. A smile from Steve Borthwick. But as much as anything, it was one of relief. Cam win it. Another outstanding performance from the young man.